just going to make this video as I get ready for the day. Um, more thoughts about that activist cop last night. Now, I know not all detectives are like this. The majority out here aren't because they come out, they investigate, etc. But that is a really interesting observation. It's weird how these observations towards the same topic tend to cluster. I mean, I know one theory is that the, it's always been present in my uh, sensory field of perception, but I'm barely noticing it because the topic is now in my mind. So, last night on Gab, I saw a video of uh, police brutality against a white kid. Well, the guy wasn't a kid. I think he was, like, in his 20s, but, you know, I'm 41, so, yeah. And these fascists were saying all pigs should die. And there was one with a profile picture of Mussolini, and the name of the count was Mussolini Uwu, right? It was Mussolini Kawaii. <laughs> I hate that I know what that is, damn you, internet. But the pro-fascist Mussolini account said ACAB, which is an Antifa thing, all cops are bad. The exact same thing Black Lives Matter is saying. Now, I know for a fact that Nazis are so stupid they didn't notice that Antifa had infiltrated their ranks on digitally. Because anyone can post an anonymous account on the internet. Anyone could be anything if they're anonymous on the internet. So Antifa could be posing as, you know, fascists to infiltrate fascist groups. And that, that's happened multiple times. On Gab, etc. It's, it's really funny to me how stupid everyone can be. But, yeah, speaking of that, the police. So this one activist cop who refused to investigate, you know, this junkie woman who does drugs while driving. Oh. I presume he's been brainwashed by social media. As well as academia and all the institutions of power and influence. So it's interesting that Law enforcement and military can be corrupted by electronic devices and education and indoctrination to the point that they are the enemy of the people. Now, I'm not going to succumb to that because that is a vague overgeneralization that lumps all police as the same. It's a matter of morality, right? I actually called the uh, company and they did something about it. And this is not, this is another thing that came to mind was the corporation was more moral than the government, right? The corporation <laughs> did more to stop evil things than the government. And what that made me think of was the underage girl, I think she was like 15 or 14, was raped on a, uh, repeatedly and tortured for hours. And they recorded the videos and uploaded them to Pornhub. And Pornhub refused to take it down. Now, she went to the detectives over and over again, saying, you know, hey, there's all these laws that they're breaking. And the police refused to do anything about it. I think it was Bank of America or somebody cut off the uh, credit card processing capacity for Pornhub and forced them to take them down. So... <laughs> The Bank of America did more to stop the exploitation of a minor on Pornhub than the police did, and the government. Now, since marijuana and pornography have a huge history of, you know, being friends, put it that way, uh, I assume that this activist cause and this is a safe assumption. This is a great likelihood. Uh, he watches, well, not just pornography, but, you know, the talking hedge and all these uh, deceptive, manipulative, dishonest, uh, pro-marijuana propaganda outlets. And that's part of what brainwashed him. That reminds me of when the George Floyd thing hit. And I had a conversation on social media with a doctor. 
who tried telling me that uh, you know I was wrong and there was no way that uh, George Floyd died of anything less than racism when I pointed out that the knee on the neck couldn't have been the cause of death because the trachea is anterior, anterior to the cervical vertebrae and medial to structures like the scalenes, levator scapula, trapezius, sternocleidomastoid, etc. It's physically impossible to choke someone from the back or the side of the neck. It has to be from the front. And the doctor said, no, as a doctor, I can tell you're wrong. And I said, really? And I repeated the statement and I said, is that not correct? And then he just stopped responding. So to me, it's insane that doctors, cops, military, all can be psychologically and morally corrupted through social media. That goes to uh, that other book that I was reading, Darwin's Cathedral, by David Sloan, I believe, who said that a moral governing system of a certain population is open-ended and can be altered through cultural evolution. So the engineers of culture, the social media you know, manipulators, the software engineer manipulators who manipulate the masses through social media, the Edward Bernays types, whose nephew is the CEO of Netflix, um, they are easily corrupting the masses. Doctors, lawyers, police, you name it. They, they control everyone, and they're just directing them like sheep, like cattle. But that doesn't mean all police are the enemy of the people, just this individual awoke activist police. <laughs> uh, and, oh yeah, so, while well, I'm on the rant, another thing that's pretty funny to me. I'm trying to figure out a way to block this because the roommate's about to cook bacon. I don't want this stink in here. <sighs> um, this won't close for some reason, it's really annoying. But, so I'm doing violin classes. Uh, and my instructor, she's a woman. She's an older woman, but you know. Not that bad looking for an old lady, for an old gal. Anyway, she, uh, you know, couldn't help but think with her woman brain, which is basically her vagina brain, right? Like, women are just uh, brainless vaginas that wander aimlessly through life hungry for a semen. <laughs> it's my joke, and they always prove it true. It's really funny. But she, um, she was... I think sexually attracted or aroused by me because of my big brain and my big muscles. Not that I have a big brain and big muscles, but that's what she uh, expressed was, you know, oh, I think you're like an information gatherer. You certainly gathered a lot of information and you know a lot about anatomy and blah, 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 blah. And she's not like hitting on me directly, but she is kind of like swooning over me unconsciously. Like she can't really help it. And, um... She then said, you know, oh, muscles, yeah, something about my muscles, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so, this is yet another woman in technically a position of authority, supposedly over me, who is now under my authority, with my big brain and my big muscles. <laughs> but... That's where it gets really confusing, right? Is, is which diversity is more damaging towards society, law enforcement, government, etc.? Women or, uh, you know, coloreds? <laughs> because that woke activist detective was black. Now, I'm sure there's white detectives and white police officers who are also woke. I don't know if there's black law enforcement who are anti-marijuana. I don't know if there's blacks who are anti-marijuana. I can't think of any of them, except a few who I've seen in those meetings, and they're all women whose uh, sons have died from marijuana and things like that. So if I'm to use this sort of rubric of measurement universally, this means that black women are more ethical than black men, but I'm going to doubt that, <laughs> just as a vague generalization. I don't think ethics has to do with any group identity label, including gender and ethnicity. I used to think that. No longer do I. Uh, anyway, I ran it long enough. I gotta get on with my day.